Hello friends, today we are going to study about LED interfacing with microcontroller but on simulation model that is Protis 8 Professional. So just hit on this icon, hit on new project, give some name to your project, and choose LED 1 2. You can give path to your project. So I will go for appropriate path. Then hit on next icon. Do not create any schematic. Next. Do not create any PCB layout. Hit on next. No firmware project. Hit on next. It will display the summary of your project. Just hit on finish then hit on the schematic capture icon now you have to add the different components such as microcontroller and LED so I will go into the components mode here you have to hit on this P icon as I am going for the microcontroller I will go for AT89C51RD2 microcontroller which is based on 8051 architecture hit on ok then I will add another device hit on this P icon I will go for the LED hit on keywords as LED I will go for the animated green LED because it will glow properly my advice will be to go for the animated LED just hit on ok icon you can see the devices has been added in your list so just hit on your added device drag it down on your schematic picture you can zoom this window by scrolling I want to interface this LED to the P1.0 pin of my microcontroller so I will drag it down on my schematic picture in order to connect this LED with P1.0 pin I will hit on my mouse at left side left left click you can call a wire is present now you can drag down where you want to connect so I will go for p1.0 a red dot is visible just once left click so connection is at established now as anode side of LED is connected to p1.0 I want to connect the cathode side to the ground so at the left mode left hand side I am having terminals mode hit on ground and just drag it down on your schematic in order to connect this once again left click and left click so device has been connected now in order to program this microcontroller I have to dump hex file but before that you can see there is no crystal connection and VCC and ground is internally provided so there is no need to connect any VCC or ground or crystal connection so in order to write down the code I will choose the MID51 software hit on MID just file uh, go on file menu new I will write code for the same I have copied that code so you can see the code on the window so I will start from 00h memory location followed by send that value to the accumulator and send the accumulator value that is send logic low value to the port p1 move p1 comma a then call some delay your instruction pointer will go for the execution of delay it is written over here so it will remain into this delay routine after execution of delay routine it will return from this with the help of this instruction RET it will come over here complement A so accumulator contents previously it was 00H now it will be inverted that is FFH and you have to send that value to the port P1 and once again calling of delay subroutine after execution of delay routine it will jump on S jump main so main is written at the starting that is move A comma 00H that means this code will be executed continuously as 
LED is connected to P1 port. So, 0 1 0 1 will be transmitted from the microcontroller pin and LED will glow turn on turn off turn on turn off continuously. You have to save your program with dot ASM extension. So, you just save your program I will hit on save as give appropriate path. I will save this with some name and you have to save this with dot asm extension just save your code you can see now the numbers are highlighted by some colorful values and now you have to build your program ok it's showing me some error in the program so I will go for the errors so as there are comments so I will just remove those comments that was for your understanding just save the code build it so there is no error in the program now you can see the hex file that is LED 56 dot hex has been generated now you have to dump this hex file into your simulation project so I will just hit on that simulation project so you have to double click on your uh, microcontroller IC you have to choose the path so program file I will go into this folder options I will browse I will go for the path so as we know that our file name was LED 56 just hit on this icon uh, just hit on this file open this and just hit on OK now the file has been dumped into the microcontroller now you have to go for the simulation so just start the simulation you can see the blinking of LED so 1010 you can see as we have transmitted values to the port P1 at the P1 side P1.0 to P1.7 all the pins that is all 8 pins of this port are having 1010 value the color is changing that means its status is 1010 so I can interface rest of the LEDs also onto the port P1 while related with P0, P2 and P3 are unchanged so this video was related with LED interfacing with 8051 based microcontroller thank you for the listening and watching